Hi, and welcome to Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today we will be installing Nuki Opener. We'll start in 10 seconds. Before we go any further, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, your support really means a lot. And also thanks to everybody who watched, subscribed or liked my videos. Thank you! And now let's get started with the Nuki Opener. In this video we will be tackling the installation and integration of Nuki Opener inside Home Assistant. And I must stress that there is a big difference between the installation process for Nuki Lock and the one for the Nuki Opener. As you will see later on in the video, the installation process is not that difficult, but it is very custom depending on what type of intercom you have, but besides that also how it was implemented. In the first part of the video, and that part you can skip, the mark where the installation process starts will be shown now on the screen. In this part I will be talking about the differences between the implementation of Nuki Lock and Nuki Opener. And the biggest difference, unfortunately, is that Nuki really tried and did their best to allow everybody to use this with most of the systems that are available in the market. When I said most, it means there are a lot of systems that are supported, but still, you may find that your system is not supported. Yes, it supports both analog and digital systems. I myself have analog systems. But as you will see in a couple of seconds, not every implementation is the same. So, how was the process of purchase? First thing, before you buy Nuki, please go to the Nuki website, click on Compatibility Checker, select Manufacturer, mine is called Bitron, select Model, mine is called N302, and, and Submit. If your intercom is supported, you will see this message. But this is where the problem starts. I had no clue about intercoms. Well, I know how they work. I know technology behind it, but I never did try to understand because I was not interested in how really the intercoms work, what are the differences, etc. And Nuki did build a very large database of all the supported devices but they are looking at the typical or the installation that is recommended by manufacturer. And as you will see, electricians are really smart guys and they like to do things how they wish. So let's check this. This is just example, just to warn you and prepare you for possible things that can happen down the road. And yes, I did manage to implement Nuki Opener without the issue at the end, but still just look at the steps I had to take. So, my system is compatible. I ordered Nuki and Nuki arrived. After it arrived, I've opened my intercom just to see what I will be tackling when I started to record the video. And it was really good idea to open it and not try to record video without looking what's inside. Because the system expects this. This is how it should look when it's connected and this is how the insides should look. I should have one, two, three, four, five, six terminals. And those terminals are wired like this. So what I did, I opened my intercom and to my surprise, it looked like this. So we are talking about same manufacturer, same part number or model and different implementation. As you can see, this one, this is not my photo, this is taken from the Nuki website. It only has four terminals. So now you have to connect six wires to four terminals. And if you look at the instructions from Nuki, it says to connect those six wires to five terminals. I don't have five terminals, I only have four. But to make things worse, my terminal only had two wires. Other two terminals were empty. Yeah. 
I did spend a couple of hours tinkering, looking at all the various options there are, and I at the end found a solution for my intercom, and that is scrap my intercom or don't use my intercom's name in the installation process. Instead, I used a different model. And here, once again, I got help from the Nuki website. User posted that he is using two-wire intercom, two-wire intercom, and this is all the functionality his intercom has. The other important thing is that his system was analog, one plus N, which is the same type of the system I have. And the answer from the Nuki was try to use Elcom HAT402. And later in the video, during the installation process, you will see that I have used exactly that model. So this is what I really want to warn you. And this is not a mistake from Nuki. You can rage as long as you want. But the problem here is the person who installed my system or the manufacturer that allows to sell two completely different systems under the same model. I really wanted to tackle this before because, yes, as I said, at the end, I did manage to install it. I still have an issue with the ringer, but I already know that there is a solution. I just have to verify something before with the support from Nuki. And I do have to say that support from Nuki is really great. So remember, please check if your intercom is supported. And before ordering, also try and see if the wires that you have in your intercom or what you think is your intercom really match the expected wires from Nuki. After I managed to find the correct wiring diagram, the installation really was very simple. So let's look at the steps. In Nuki application, go to Manage Devices, Opener, and click on Setup Opener. Type in your name, wait for device to connect to Nuki, select a name, select location, next if you have Nuki Bridge and you will need Nuki Bridge for Home Assistant integration, hold down the button on the bridge for at least 10 seconds or until the light starts to flash. And after the pairing is done, the bridge will reboot. Select Intercom if you are using Intercom. Follow the steps. Select a brand. As you may see, I'm currently using a different model than the one I'm having at my place, because this model suits my installation. Follow the steps. Open it. And here you will be presented with the list of wires and where you have to connect them. First step is to remove the headset, then unscrew or open the intercom, and now follow the instructions where each wire has to go. I will loosen the intercom. This is needed so I can thread the wires behind it. These are the wires that are supplied with the Nuki opener kit. I've already separated the wires according to the instructions. My Nuki will be positioned here on the right side. And now I have to unscrew the terminal and insert four wires on one side. This is per the documentation for the two wire system. and three wires go on the other side. And I will be replacing the case. According to the instructions, you should replace case last after you install Nuki, but since my installation here will be temporary, meaning that I will still not be gluing it to the wall or uh, using screws to fix it, I am putting it like this. The last step is, of course, to connect the Nuki opener. You have to remove the rubber covers 
for me this is the left one because I'll be installing it on the right side. And that's it. Press configure now, but you have to be in rage of your new key opener. Go outside of your building, and when you're outside, press open the door. If everything is okay, you will hear the door buzzing for you to enter. Select yes if the door opened, then try to ring the bell. Unfortunately, this step for me doesn't work. So I ended up configuring only open for now. With the ring functionality I will be playing a little bit later. And you can hear that the door was now opened from within the app. And that's it! The next part is part with the integration to Home Assistant. Ok, the prerequisite for this is that you already have Nuki Bridge connected to your Nuki opener and that you have enabled HTTP API on the bridge. If you haven't done so, please do it because this step is needed especially if you already do not have Nuki Lock installed. I myself cannot do that since I already have this enabled and I already have Nuki Lock installed and integrated inside Home Assistant. If everything is as is, you should now already see inside your integrations that your Nuki integration has two entities. One integration will be Nuki Lock and the other one will be called Nuki Lock, but in fact it's your opener. So let's check it. Let's go to Configuration, Integrations, Nuki, we only have one entity. If you are missing your entity, the best thing that you can do is restart your system. This helped me during my installation. So let me quickly restart my home assistant. If you did like this video so far, please give me a thumbs up because it really means a lot to me. But not just that, it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. And we all want to please the YouTube God. Thank you. And Home Assistant is back. Let's go to Configuration, Integrations, and hopefully Nuki has two entities. If you by any chance didn't install Nuki Lock first and you want to install just the Nuki opener, what you have to do is you have to go to Plus, type here, specify the IP address and the access token that you set up inside the application for the Nuki Bridge. And as I mentioned previously, in the Nuki Bridge you have to enable HTTP API. As you see on the screen here, under the HTTP API you will also see the IP address, port number and the token. Let's close this. So we now have two entities. One is for the lock and one is for the opener. My lock is called front door and my opener is called opener. What you can do with it? You can now add it to your UI. I've added new tabs here. And we have Nuki card, which still didn't load completely. Press three dots, edit dashboard. This is my lock, add card, entity, opener, save. If you want to open the door from your home assistant, just click on it and select unlock. Unfortunately, at this point, this is the only thing that you can do from home assistant. And about the community support, unfortunately at the time of the recording of the video, Nuki Opener is still not supported by the community version of the integration, but I hope that this will be available soon. You can always check the link that I will be posting in the description of the video, where I hope future information will be available. As you've seen, the integration inside Home Assistant is as easy as the integration for the Nuki Lock. 
but unfortunately, as with the Nuki Lock, the only thing at this point you can do is trigger unlock from your home assistant. I don't know if in a future home assistant will be able to also recognize the ringer, so you get the information if somebody has rang your door or not. We will see in a future. But as I said previously, I really do hope that this component will get some love from the community. And this is it for this home assistant how-to with Bearded Tinker. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video and did you find it useful. If you have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video or any previous video I did, you can always find me on the Discord server and I do try to respond there as much as I can. But feel free also to leave comment down in the comment section below. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified in the future updates and I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.